Two new schools open for the first time today in Duval County. Yeah, Highlands Estates Academy and Chafee Trail Middle School were funded using the half cent sales tax money. News for Jack's reporter Brianna Andrews joins us live outside Highlands Estates. And Brianna, the sales tax was approved by voters in 2020. Hey, good morning. That money has gone towards improving schools, building new ones and ramping up security at existing schools. Now, this school here is just one of 104 projects that have already been completed using that money. Highlands Estates merges two other elementary schools. That's Highlands Elementary and Pine Estates Elementary. Now, here's video inside the brand new building. Take a look at this. Highlands Estates was a third elementary school to be built using the half penny sales tax. It's now more than 120,000 square feet and holds about 750 students. The total cost for the project was $53 million. The district was able to save three of the campus original buildings and incorporate them into the new school. It comes equipped with an art lab, music room and a skills lab. News for Jack spoke with Superintendent Christopher Bernier about his thoughts on this new project. You know, this building signifies a great sense of hope, but I think I heard it the other night. Working conditions are learning conditions, learning conditions are working conditions, and our, and our children and our staff now has a first-class learning facility. And over on the west side, Chaffee Trail Middle School will also welcome students for the first time today. It was the first middle school built and funded by the half penny sales tax. This is video inside the new building. It's more than 120,000 square feet and holds over 1,100 kids. The school will, be, will pull students from both Baldwin Middle Senior High and Charger Academy. It comes equipped with three career technical education centers, six new science demo labs, two athletic fields and a track and safety enhancements for students and faculty. News for Jack spoke with students and parents looking forward to the new school year. It's like pretty awesome because, um, you know, it's promising. I really like that um, they designed almost every part of the walls on the school. It's really, it's really cool. It's really, it's really nice and designed. And I like the fact that um, they made a lot of promises here. And as for other Duval County school projects funded by the sales tax, 25 are currently in construction. Six, though, are still in that design phase. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.